Oh, let's just jump straight into another example. Let's do the integral of the natural log of x dx. Some people might not think this is a case for u substitution, but uh, for integration by parts, but u substitution gets you nowhere. Nobody else works. What have you got? Well, remember, lip it. Logarithms are the first thing. Logarithms are lovely. Watch this. U is just the ln of x. dv is everything else. Well, wait a second. If this is u, what's left? There's your dv. You set u equal to the natural log of x. dv is just dx. The, net, the differential of this, du is the derivative of that 1 over x dx. If you integrate both sides, you get v equals just x. And so what have we got? Integral of u dv is uv minus integral of v du. uv minus integral of v du. Oh, I said I wasn't going to write it again. I did. x ln of x. I know I put them in the wrong order, but I always like putting my logarithms last minus the integral of v du, which is the integral of x times 1 over x dx. Holy algebraic manipulation, Batman. That is x ln of x minus 1 dx. That's just x. x ln of x minus x plus c. Ta-da! And that is the right answer because if we take the derivative of that, I said I wasn't going to do this. Oh, I love this. Uh, what is it? Product rule says the derivative of the x is 1. I'll do it in blue. 1 times the natural log of x left alone plus the x left alone times the derivative of the log, which is 1 over x, minus the derivative of negative x is negative 1, and the derivative of c is 0. Now I can use 1 cancels with this because that's just 1, and we are left with just natural log of x which is what we wanted.